On what should be a verdant green hillside, a desperately sad task is in progress. Soldiers are looking for the bodies of people buried in this mudslide, set off by the worst rains in 14 years. They're still finding them. In this village in the islands far south, everybody and everything has been touched by the disaster. I, my children and my grandchildren have lost everything. Not even a pin is left. Everything was destroyed. We live from earnings from a small shop that was completely destroyed by the landslide. I'm appealing for help to build a house somewhere soon. With whole tracts of land now scarred by landslide, cultivable land has been laid waste and villagers can only watch the armed forces salvage operations. There was a hitch on Monday when an Air Force helicopter crash landed after a technical fault, but no one was hurt. The government says destroyed houses will be rebuilt. This minister, Mano Ganeshan, called on people whose streets have turned to rivers, including some who now have their deceased loved ones lying in repose at home. The funeral wakes have begun. Even in more built-up areas, some are stranded. Two generations of this family needed rescuing by the Navy at Nagoda on Monday. They're being taken to safer places. At the moment, the message from the authorities is don't go home. The forecast for Tuesday is continuing heavy rainfall and very strong winds. The cyclonic storm is due to move away from Sri Lanka and towards Bangladesh. Charles Haviland, BBC News.